All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky. We need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Maybe it'll help keep the city a little bit safer. Every little bit helps. You think we're gonna make it, Yuri? Who knows? But I'm not ready to give up yet. Me either. Sleep it off. Yuri, this whole street's been taken over by Riker's inmates. We've had calls from people who are afraid to leave their buildings. Tell them to stay inside a little longer. There's going to be some street cleaning. I literally didn't see that coming. Dreams. Spider Man must be crawling around. That was eighty nine.
New York. A vacancy opens up and everyone's rushing to take it. One over. They'll be a lot easier to deal with on the street without hostages. I'm working on it. Talk to you soon. Captain, the block's quiet. Everyone in an orange jumpsuit is down for the count. Great job. 
If they'd gotten into a residential building, they'd have done a lot of damage. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. If I get sick, I'll sue you into the ground. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Swear, I swear your way out of here. We're in charge. Okay, okay, I'm gone. Continuing sweep. <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm. Useless button. Hmm. <sighs> Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. 
I need to find the code for that keypad. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could... You grab my journal from my room. I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Norman and Otto, wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this?
Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Could really use a coffee. Huh? Who's there? Stay alert. I think we got company. Stay alert. I think we got company. Copy that, Control. Five by five. Control, we're all clear. Huh. Better check it out. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, 
I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. A child's x-ray. But it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Mm, kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Bravo, bravo, bravo. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27, Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running.
Need to clear that balcony. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. Mm -hmm. 